Physical reality, as you call it, as we have said many times, is a reflection of your state of being, your state of consciousness. <laughs> there really is nothing outside of you. You're not really in physical reality. Physical reality is within you. It's within your consciousness. It is a concept that you are experiencing of yourself from a certain perspective. However, we understand that the way in which you have chosen to experience your particular dimension of physical experience is as though you are within a realm of space and time, as you call it. But what is that exactly? What is space? What is time? Again, while they are illusionary, you still create the effect of them, the experience of them in your life experience as a physical being, a physicalized being, so to speak. Where you have taken your energy, the energy, the high frequency energy of your spirit nature, your non-physical nature, and in a sense, have lowered that frequency, crystallized uh, that frequency down into what you call the experience, the matrix of, the structure of physical reality. Now again, this is going on within your consciousness. You're not actually in any place really called physical reality. It's all within. Nevertheless, we understand that the way you chose to experience this makes it appear to be outside of you. So the thing to remember in order to give yourself more opportunity to choose and experience the kind of physical reality you prefer, the kind of physical reality that you say is more in alignment with your true vibration, is to begin to see and experience physical reality as a reflection, similar to the idea of the reflection that exists in your glass mirror. You know that when you look at your reflection in a glass mirror, you know that you're not really over there. And you know that if you want to change the reflection in the glass mirror, you don't go to the reflection and attempt to make it change. You must change yourself in order to see the change in the reflection. So physical reality, being a reflection, being a hall of mirrors, operates in much the same kind of modality. Any change you wish to see in the so-called reflection, the outer reality, must begin within, must begin within the inner reality, which is you, within your consciousness, within your vibration, within your state of being.